Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to transform this large empty wall right beside my master bedroom into a beautiful gallery wall. Okay, so first things first, we painted this wall um, classic silver by Bear, and I also ordered some family photos. These are from our Easter session, and I turned them black and white. I ordered these from Snapfish. These are 16 by 20 size, but I am going to put some smaller 8 by 10s as well. As for my mirror frames, you guys know I am a glam girl. I got these years ago from Home Goods. That's where I get all of my mirror frames from. They were a really good price. I think maybe $19.99. I don't remember, but check Home Goods before you check anywhere else because they have beautiful good quality mirror frames very large frames for a fraction of the price that you'll pay at other retailers so here i am stuffing the photos into the frames and they came out beautiful Okay guys, so now that all of the pictures are in the frames, these are some of Reagan's newborn uh, photo shoot pictures. I accidentally ordered them in the wrong size for another wall and I decided to keep them and they actually fit perfect in these 8x10 frames that I already had. So I'm just going to make a gallery wall with these and then the 16x20 prints from our Easter shoot in the middle. And the next order of business for, was for me to measure the entire width of this large wall because I wanted to mark the center point so that I could base everything off of the center point so it would be even. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm using my tape measure that I carry with me everywhere. This thing has not failed me. And I'm trying to find the center of this wall by myself. I don't have my assistant today. And I just want to explain that you do see me here adding the command strips to the large 16 by 20 frames. I did go back and change my plan and hang them with nails um, because I didn't put enough force behind one of them and it actually fell down a couple minutes later and I just wanted to be on the safe side. We do have a young one so I decided to use nails. So this is the before footage but you will see me using nails later. And I did go ahead and hang this first one um, off camera with the nails. You see me using my level, which is a very important tool you need in these types of projects to make sure everything is flush and level and where it's supposed to be. You do, do see that small one on the right hand side there. I had already put that up when I put the first large picture frames up with the command strip. So I went ahead and left that there as my um, guide to where all of the other frames should be because I had already kind of pre-measured everything. So now you see me rehanging them with nails because I did hang them with command strips at first and it just didn't work out now for the 8 by 10 frames I went ahead and used three uh, or four command strips on the back of those and those will be fine I know that for sure And guys, I do want to apologize about the lighting. We have not changed out our hallway um, ceiling mount lights, flush mount lights. We haven't changed them out yet. We haven't changed the bulb. So that's why you get this yellow hue um, because it still has the warm lights in it. But that is on our to-do list of um, home projects. And also, I want to let you guys know that I did do this over a couple of days. So you do see different clothing because it wasn't the same day. Thank you. 
And so now it's time to hang the remaining three eight by 10 frames. And like I said, I used the one on the bottom right as my guide. I remeasured that and then used those measurements all the way around the two 16 by 20 frames. And as you can see here, I did have to call in for backup. I needed Ronnie to help me apply some very, very strong pressure to the four eight by 10 frames because I want them to be secure to the wall um, indefinitely. And so I never trust my strength. I always get him to come behind me and add a little bit more pressure. So that's what you see him doing now. And guys, I'd like to take this time to thank all of my new subscribers. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Buttons. I love all home decor and home design and DIYs, all of that type of stuff. So I thank you for subscribing. If you are just stopping by today, again, I appreciate you clicking on this video. If you like content like this, I would suggest that you would click the subscribe button and also don't forget to click the notification bell so that you never miss an upload and I do plan to upload more um, home content very frequently so go ahead and smash that like button if you like this video like this content and also subscribe and press that notification bell And as you can see, I've successfully hung all of my frames. I decided to only do six frames on this wall. I thought it filled it out enough. And now I'm adding my accent decor. I had these white porcelain um, wallflowers from Target. They are the Threshold brand. I've had them for the last, I don't know, like five, six years. So I don't believe you can get them anymore. I got them on clearance, a really good deal. I think I paid maybe $20 each for them. And I've just used them in all of my different homes. So here is where you see me hanging those. I did hang them with the nail. And then I also go uh, behind myself and add a command strip to just secure them to the wall. Here you see I have my assistant applying more pressure because I had this family sign. I brought it a couple years ago from Michael's for like 10 bucks and I needed him to apply some more pressure. So that's what you see happening. And guys, I am so proud of how this DIY gallery wall turned out because I did not have to purchase anything except the two photos that are in the center frames. And they were, you know, pennies on the dollar from snapfish.com. Um, but I used everything that I already had. I shot my own home and I reused things that I already had. And so I didn't have to spend a lot of money on this project. So I love how it turned out. I think it is beautiful. I love walking past it just to get into the master every day. And it sure beats walking past a blank wall. And so again, you guys, this is how it turned out. We absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comments how you think it turned out. And again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you like this type of content.